Henry. How are you today, Sock? I feel fantastic, Henry. I've just had a lovely wash, I feel fresh, and I'm very excited. It is a special day after all. Why is it a special day, Sock? Is it your birthday? Is it Easter? Is it your first day of school? Ah, <laughs> even better than all those, Henry. Today is Best Friends Day. And as you know, Socks always come in pairs. I'm Left Sock, and this is my best friend, Right Sock. She's always right by my side. Isn't that right, Right Sock? Right Sock? Oh no, Henry, where's she gone? Don't worry, Left Sock. Maybe she's still in the laundry basket. I can see some blue jeans, <laughs> a red jumper, <laughs> some spotty underpants. <laughs> oh, and an envelope with a picture on it. An envelope with a picture on it? That's a bit strange, Henry. What's it a picture of? It's a picture of a sock with a question mark next to it. That's her, Henry, my best friend. Right Sock. Oh, it must be a clue. A clue? What's that, Left Sock? A clue is something you can follow to help you solve a mystery. I'm sure if we follow the clues, we could find my missing Right Sock. Oh, if only there was a detective around to help. That gives me a great idea, Left Sock. I could become a detective and we can follow the clues and find Right Sock together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Left Sock. When investigating a mystery, one has to be meticulous with their evidence. Cunning in their deductions and be careful not to jump to any wrong conclusions. Hmm. What does that mean, Henry? It means we should probably hurry up and read the first clue. If you want to find the missing sock, follow the sound of tick, tick, tuck. Oh dear, Henry, what does that mean? Well, left sock, what makes the sound tick, tick, tuck? A cloak! Precisely! And where can we find a clock? In the hallway. Exactly. Come on, Left Sock. There's no time to lose. Hello, clock. Hello, Henry. Hello, Left Sock. What can I do for you today? We're looking for Right Sock. Have you seen her? I haven't, I'm afraid. But I did find this, if that's any help. Thanks, clock. Look, Henry, it's another clue. Hup, hup. If you want to find the truth, Talk to the brush that cleans many a tooth. Hmm. Toothbrushes clean teeth. And where would we find a toothbrush? In the bathroom. Exactly. Thanks, clock. Good luck, Henry. Good luck, left sock. Hello, toothbrush. Hello, Henry. What brings you to the bathroom today? Back to clean your teeth again already? Not just yet, toothbrush. We're in the middle of solving the mystery of the missing sock. Have you seen Right Sock around today? I can't say I have, but someone did leave this mysterious envelope lying around here today. <laughs> it's another clue. To get to the end of the trail of clues, go to the place that's best to snooze. Hmm. Well, my favourite place to snooze is in my bed. And your bed is in your bedroom. Exactly. Follow me, Left Sock. Thanks, Toothbrush. You're welcome, Henry. What's going on, Henry? It's really dark. Surprise! Surprise! Happy Best Friend Day, Left Sock. Right, Sock, it's you. You went to all this trouble for me. Oh, what a lovely surprise. She wasn't missing after all, Left Sock. She was planning a super secret surprise party. Let's hear it for a lovely pair of best friends. Hip hip, hooray! The day Henry met a sock, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a sock, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Left Sock. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping solve the mystery and finding my best friend. You're welcome, Left Sock. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... The moon! <laughs> Hello, 
Hello, Henry. How are you tonight, Moon? I feel wonderful, Henry. The sky is clear, and I'm surrounded by all these beautiful stars. Oh, stop that, you. <laughs> Moon? Yes, Henry? Is it really true that you are made of cheese? I'm afraid not, Henry. I wish I was. Cheese and crackers are my favorite snack. But alas, I'm just made of ancient rocks. Oh, that is a pity you're made of ancient rock, Moon. Because cheese and crackers are my favorite snack, too. Do you know who else loved cheese and crackers, Henry? None other than Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong? Wow! That's amazing, Moon. Who's Neil Armstrong? Oh, <laughs> he was the first astronaut to walk on the moon. Wow! Mm, what's an astronaut? An astronaut is someone who flies into outer space, space, space. They explore other planets, planets, planets and travel far into the solar system, system, system. That gives me a great idea, Moon. I could become an astronaut. I could fly to the moon and we could have a picnic together with cheese and crackers. That's a great idea, Henry. Junior Space Cadet Henry reporting for duty. <laughs> Five. Boom. Hello, supercomputer. Hello, Henry. Four. <laughs> I made it. Oh. Um. Psst, Henri, down here. Just hold on tight, Henri. You'll be fine. Thanks, steering wheel. <laughs> Good luck, Henry. Good luck, Henry. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> oh, how exciting, Henry! I can't wait until you get here. Oh, and one more thing. What is it, Moon? What? <laughs> Don't forget to fasten your seatbelt. Huh? Climb up here, Henry! Whee! Um. Blast off! Up, up and away, Henry! Doing great, Henry. Now remember, take a left, just up ahead, and you'll be here in no time. Will do, Moon. Will do. Oh, and keep an eye out for any meteors, of course. Meteors? What are meteors? We are rocks from outer space that fall to Earth. Oh, I see. Thanks. You're Mind your step, Henry, and on behalf of everyone on board, I hope you had a pleasant flight. I did. Thanks, Rocket. Now, Moon, where shall we have this picnic? Right where you are is as good a place as any, Henry. Right here, Moon. Who's for cheese and crackers? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the day. My mum calling me, Moon. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for a delicious picnic. You're welcome, Moon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, Moon. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... Okay. <laughs> Cake. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Cake? I'm so excited, Henry. You'll never guess what's happening today. What's happening, Cake? Are you going on holiday? Are you moving house? Is the circus coming to town? Nope. 
Um, oh, too slow. I'm going to be a little girl's birthday cake. Yay! <laughs> cake, that's great news. <gasps> Maybe you could help me check everything off my list before she arrives. Of course, Cake. Now, let me see. First up, we have sprinkles. <laughs> Chick. Candles. Chick. And last but not least, you need to be three tiers high. And check. Oh, I'm just so excited. Wait, what? Three tiers high? But I only have one tier. There won't be enough cake for all her friends and family. But isn't it really important to have enough for everyone? You're right, Henry. We're going to have to bake two more tiers. If only there was a baker around to help us. That gives me a great idea, Cake. I could become a baker. And I could help bake the other two tiers. That's a great idea, Henry. Now, wash your hands, then you'll be ready to start. Will do, Cake. Thanks, Tap. You're welcome, Henry. Okay, ingredients, who's with me? We're with you, Henry. Oh, this is more exciting than a chocolate chip strawberry fudge cheesecake. Eggs, flour, butter, and sugar at your service, Henry, sir. Okay, Eggs, I'm going to need you to go in first. It's an honor and a privilege to serve at your side, sir. <coughs> You're up next, Flour. <laughs> then you, Butter. <laughs> now, give me some sugar, please. Cha -cha 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 -cha. You're doing really well, Henry. Now you just have to mix it all together. Right you are, Cake. Hello, Whisk. Ready to start? <laughs> Ready when you are, Henry! <laughs> there. All done. Thanks, Whisk. It was my pleasure, Henry. Well done, Henry. If you keep this up, you'll be finished before I can say double chalk top peach meringue pie. Thanks, Cake. I just need to pour the mixture into the tins. And now it's time to put them in the oven. Hello, oven. Oh, hello, Henry, my little buttered scone. What do you have for me to bake today? A birthday cake. Oh, how exciting. Hold up, hold up. You don't want to get burnt. Safety, safety first, first, safety, safety first. first. Sorry, oven gloves. You two take it from here. Oh, now just leave them with me, Henry. They'll be ready in no time. All done, Henry. Mmm, something smells good. Stand back, stand back. Hot cake's coming through. Thanks, oven gloves. Henry, they're going to be here to collect me really soon, and the missing tears aren't ready yet. We need to hurry. Don't worry, Cake. Once they've cooled down, I'll start decorating. Oh, Henry, it's perfect. Not quite perfect just yet, Cake. Oh, Henry, I'm so happy I could burst. Woohoo! You did a great job. Thanks, Cake. But I didn't do it on my own. I had lots of help along the way. <laughs> the day Henry met a cake, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a cake, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me cake. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me become the best cake ever. You're welcome. Enjoy the little girl's birthday party. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met... A gorilla! Gorilla. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Gorilla? I feel wonderful, Henry. This wildlife park is so luxurious. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. There's bananas, bamboo, and even mangoes. Hello, Henry! It's almost as beautiful as my old home. Oh, so where did you live before you lived here, Gorilla? 
I lived in a tropical rainforest in the mountains of Africa, Henry. But sadly, it's been chopped down. So I was brought here to this sanctuary to be kept safe. What was that, Gorilla? Was that your tummy rumbling? No, Henry. It sounded like Tiger, my next-door neighbor. I hope he's all right. I wonder what's wrong. We really should check, Gorilla. Good idea, Henry. Fasten your seatbelts. Next stop, the Tiger Hunt. Hello, Tiger. Is everything OK? Oh, woe is me. Such pain, such anguish, such sorrow. I feel so ill, so very, very ill. <laughs> Whenever I'm feeling ill, Tiger, my mum always takes me to the doctors. The doctor always helps me get better. That's it, Henry. We need to call the veterinarian. The veterinarian? What's a veterinarian? It's an animal doctor, Henry. They help animals who are injured or ill. If only there was one around who could help Tiger. That gives me a great idea, Gorilla. I could become a veterinarian and I could make Tiger feel all better. That's a great idea, Henry. Good evening, Tiger. I'm Dr. Henry. Myself and Gorilla will be looking after you today, so you have nothing to worry about. Now, if you could just sit back and relax. Relax? Relax? How is one supposed to relax at a time like this? <laughs> just try to breathe slowly, Tiger. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. There you go. Oh, but the pain, Henry, the anguish. If only there was something to take my mind off this torment. <laughs> what shall we do, Henry? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. How about a lollipop to calm your nerves, Tiger? Oh, oh, oh that's terribly kind of you, Henry. Don't mind if I do. Hmm, meat flavor, my favorite. Okay, Gorilla, we need to work fast. That lollipop isn't going to last for long. Right you are, Henry. OK, Henry, we've been training hard for this one, so ready whenever you are. OK, forceps, on your marks. Get set. Go! Hello, stethoscope. Hello, Henry. Hello, ophthalmoloscope. Hello, Henry. Hello, thermometer. Hello, Henry. Sorry we weren't more help, Henry. That's OK, forceps. You did your best. We've checked everything, Henry. His temperature, his tummy, his eyes. We've checked him head to toe. That's it, Gorilla. His toe. We haven't checked his toe. I think I know what's wrong, Gorilla. Hey, let me go, do you hear? Let me go. Gotcha. There was just a little thorn stuck in his paw. Well done, Henry. Well done. There, finished. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Woe is me, my poor... Oh, um, the pain is gone. You had a thorn in your paw, Tiger. But don't worry, we pulled it out, so it's all better now. Oh, thanks ever so much, Henry. Just doing my job, Tiger, just doing my job. The day Henry met a gorilla, he laughed a lot. My mum calling me, Gorilla. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for helping me with the thorn in my paw. You're welcome, Tiger. Have a nice evening. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye, Gorilla. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a mountain. Mountain. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Mountain? I'm as happy as Larry, old chap, as the views up here are simply breathtaking. Mountain, why do you have so much snow way up there in your head? Well, Henry, the higher up a mountain you go, the colder it gets. And some mountains are so big and so tall that snow falls at the very, very top. Cool. 
It's like you're wearing a little cap made of fluffy snow. Precisely, Henry, old chap. That's probably why I'm called a snow-capped mountain. I wish I was tall like you, mountain. <laughs> You've still plenty of time to grow, Henry, my boy. Ooh. Mm. Are you OK, mountain? Ever since a mountain climber left this rotten flag up here in the snow, I've had this terrible itch, and I just can't scratch it. Oh, nothing worse than an itch you can't scratch, Mountain. I'm as itchy as a pair of dog's ears, Henry. If only there was a mountain climber around to climb up, remove the flag, and give me a good old scratch. That gives me a great idea, Mountain. I could become a mountain climber, and I could climb up. Get the flag and scratch that itch. That's a great idea, Henry. But remember, be very, very careful. Will do, Mountain. Here I come. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is going to take forever. Not if you follow me, Henry. Meh. Hello, Mountain Goat. I could really do with some help. I would be more than happy Meh. to facilitate your ascent of this mountainous region in a timely and convenient manner. Meh. Mm, I'm not sure what you mean, Mountain Goat. I mean this way, Henry. Meh. With all this help, I should be able to remove that flag in no time. That's my boy, Henry. Never give up. Hello, birdies. Hello, Henry. Chirp, chirp. Hello, rescue helicopter. Hello, Henry. Hello, abominable snowman. Hello, Henry. All that's left for you to do is simply cross the bridge in a quiet and orderly manner. We're almost there, Mountain. Sooner the better, Henry. This itch is itchier than a flea circus on a mosquito bite. Hello, Bridge. Hello, Henry. Would you mind if we walked over you to get to the other side, please? Oh, not at all, Henry. But be careful of the first step. It's a bit rickety. Will do, Bridge. Will do. Uh-oh. Or was it the fourth step? Whoa! Henry! Ah! Uh... Don't worry, Henry. I've got you. You. That was a close one, rescue helicopter. Just doing my job, Henry. Just doing my job. Thanks, rescue helicopter. You're welcome, Henry. OK, Mountain, where's the flag? It's right here by this rock, Henry, my boy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> How's that, oh. Mountain? Oh, that's fantastic, Henry. I feel absolutely wonderful. My itch has stopped. It's all in a day's work for Henry the Mountain Climber. The day Henry met a mountain, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a mountain, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Mountain. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, old chap. And thanks for scratching my itch. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a daffodil. <laughs> Hello, daffodil. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Daffodil? I feel great, Henry. The sun is shining and the soil is lovely and tasty. Mmm, yum, yum. Um, Daffodil, did you say tasty? Oh, yes, Henry. You see, plants like me get lots of special ingredients from the air and the soil and then use the sun to turn them into food. Wow, that's amazing, Daffodil. Oh, that reminds me. I have amazing news. There are some new plants moving into the garden tomorrow. Imagine all the new friends you're going to make. I know, Henry. I'm so excited. I finally have someone else to talk to. 
Well, other than Cloud, who sleeps all day. Never mind, Daffodil. Um, what's that noise? Special delivery for Mr. Daffodil. <laughs> Wait! There must be some kind of mistake. No time to chat, must dash. Lots of deliveries to make. Have a nice day. Is everything OK, Daffodil? The plants have arrived a day early, Henry, and the gardener is away on holiday until tomorrow. But don't they need to be planted and watered straight away? That's right, Henry. If only there was a gardener around to help. That gives me a great idea, Daffodil. I could become a gardener and I could help plant all your new friends. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, first things first. Let's dig some holes so we can start planting this thirsty bunch. Hooray! Shovel and spade at your service. And don't forget me. Oh, Trowel, you're ever so cute. OK, team, let's get digging. Hello, Lilies. Hello, Henry. Hello, Poppies. Hello, Henry. Hello, Roses. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Done. <laughs> now that the plants are lovely and comfy in the soil, Henry, they need a drink of water. Water, water, need water. Right you are, Daffodil. Has anyone seen watering can? Here I am, Henry. But you're not going to believe what's happened. Follow me. Is everything OK? I'm ever so sorry, Henry. I feel like I've really let you down. What's wrong, Tap? It's my hay fever, Henry. My eyes are itchy and my throat is sore. But worst of all, my pipe is all blocked up. Oh. That means no water, Henry. And we still have thirsty plants to feed. What shall we do? Hmm. Oh, wait. I have an idea. <coughs> OK, everyone. On the count of three. One, two, three. Cloud, wake up! Oh, oh who said that? Oh, what, what's happening? Where am I? I oh, oh, hello, everyone. Sorry for waking you up, Cloud. But we could really use your help. Oh, of, of course I'll help if I can. What is it? Well, we'd really appreciate it if you could do what rain clouds do best. And rain. Oh, it'll be my pleasure, Henry. Oh, thanks, Cloud. OK, on your marks, get set, rain! <laughs> oh, there you go! Oh, oh, and let's not forget all of you! <laughs> thanks so much, Cloud. The plants are looking great. And now that you're awake, maybe you and Daphne could spend some quality time together. Oh, I'd like that. Me too. Hooray! The day Henry met a daffodil, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a daffodil, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me Daffodil. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping with the garden. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A digger! <laughs> Hello, digger. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Digger? I feel great. Nothing like a warm mug of tea to set you up for a hard day of building. What are you building, Digger? I'm building a house today, Henry. A lovely new house for someone to live in. A house? Wow, that sounds like hard work, Digger. It is, Henry. That's why I have lots of friends on site who all help out. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. But... Mm, Digger, there doesn't seem to be much building going on at the moment. Good point, Henry. The builder should have been here an hour ago. I'll give him a call. Hello? 
Hello, is that the builder? Oh, right. Really? Oh, no. That's terrible news. What is it, Digger? Did he get a flat tire? Did he lose his keys? Did he go to the wrong building site? Even worse than any of those, Henry. He ate too many baked beans and gave himself a tummy ache. Oh, no. There's nothing worse than a tummy ache, Digger. Oh, it does get even worse than that, Henry. If we don't find another builder soon, we'll never get this house finished in time. That gives me a great idea, Digger. I could become a builder and I could help get the house built on time. That's a great idea, Henry. Let's go. Well, whoop de do. It's about time you showed up. We might just get this house built after all. Good work, Private. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We just need to go over the blueprints with Henry, sir. Did uh, someone say blueprint? Hello, blueprint. <laughs> Hi, Henry. Blueprint, explain yourself to Private Henry so we can go and build this house. Sir, yes, sir. A uh, blueprint is a technical drawing that's mm. used to plan everything mm. out. Mm. Every measurement has mm. to be exact, mm. so nothing goes wrong. So before anyone can start, they all have to check the blueprint. Precisely, Henry. So Digger knows exactly where to go and how much to dig. Correct, Amundo. Okay, got it. Right, gather around, everyone. Building this house isn't going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of hard work. But if we all help each other and work as a team, I'm sure we'll build the best house ever. Hooray! Okay, everyone, let's get building. Well done, Cement Mixer. Thanks, Henry! Well done, Hammer. Thanks, Henry! Well done, Bricks. Thanks, Henry! OK, just a little dab of paint and we're done. Good work, everyone. Yay! Yeah. Hang on, Henry. Something looks a little off to me. Oh, you're right, Digger. It looks all wonky. What in the blazes? A wonky house? This is a building site, not a kiddie sand pit. Private Henry, explain yourself. Don't worry, Sarge. I think I have an idea. Follow me, Digger. OK, ready, Digger? Ready, Henry. Right, here we go. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Digger. You're, You're welcome, welcome, house. That was quick thinking, Henry. Well, I couldn't have done it without your help. And now that we're finished, I think you've all earned a nice warm mug of tea. Hooray! The day Henry met a Digger, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a Digger, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Digger. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping us build the house. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A fire engine. <laughs> Hello, fire engine. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Fire Engine? I feel fantastic, Henry. I'm so excited. It's my first day in the job. Oh, that's wonderful, Fire Engine. Have you made any new friends? I've made lots of new friends, Henry. Say hello, Siren. Ooh, hello, Henry! <laughs> hello, Siren. She lets everyone know when there's a Fire Engine coming. And up there is Rescue Platform. Hello, Rescue Platform. Hello, Henry. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he helps to reach people who are stuck way up high. <laughs> Hi, Henry. I'm Hose. Hello, Hose. I help to put fires out with uh, uh, water. Achoo! Whoa! 
Oh, sorry. I think my allergies are playing up again. I can't believe how brave you all are. The bravest thing I've ever done is ride my bicycle without stabilizers. Well, I think that's very brave too, Henry. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no. Does that mean there's a fire somewhere? No, no. It's not a fire, Henry. But there is a little cat stuck up in a tree. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, phew. Well, good luck, fire engine. And be careful. Oh. What's wrong, fire engine? Is everything OK? Well, I've never been out of the fire station on my own. And all of the firefighters are out in a very important call. Oh, if only I could find someone else to come along for support. That gives me a great idea, Fire Engine. I could become a firefighter and I could help you rescue the cat from up in the tree. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Fire Engine. Ready when you are. Fasten your seatbelt, Henry, and I'll take it from here. Will do, Fire Engine. Will do. Whee! Oh. Let's go! <laughs> Hello, Bridge. Hello, Henry. Hello, Mountain. Hello, Henry. Hello, Quaint Cottage. Oh, hello, Henry. <laughs> hello, Tree. <laughs> hello, Henry. <laughs> We're here to rescue a cat that's stuck up in a tree. Have you seen one? <laughs> it's not really a laughing matter, is it, Tree? Oh, oh I'm not being rude, Fire Engine. <laughs> but I, I think the cat you're looking for is up there. Cat, are you OK? Meow. She's shaking so much, she's tickling my branches. <laughs> what should I do, Fire Engine? Tree's so tall and I'm so little. Maybe I can be of assistance. Ready now? Be careful, Henry. Just a little closer and we'll have this cat down in no time. Mmm, platform? Why have we stopped? I'm afraid that's as far as I can reach, Henry. Oh, no! What shall we do now? Oh, oh! Oh, maybe I could help! Good idea, Hose. Oh, no! My allergies! I think I'm going to sneeze again! Huh? 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 Choo! There, there. Nothing to be frightened of, Cat. You're safe and sound with friends now. Yay! The day Henry met a fire engine, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a fire engine, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me Fire Engine. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me rescue the cat from being stuck up in the tree. You're welcome. Have a good first day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A rabbit! <laughs> Hello, Rabbit. Hello, Henri. How are you today, Rabbit? I feel great, Henri. I have warm straw in my hutch, fresh water in my bowl, and these lovely juicy carrots for my supper. Rabbit, is it true carrots help you see in the dark? No, I'm afraid not, Henri. But we are really good for your eyes and we make you grow up big and strong. Not to mention nutritious and delicious. Oh, um, oh, Rabbit, uh, have you shown Henry your lovely photo album yet? I'm sure he'd love to see it. Great idea, Carrot. Well, Rabbit, were you a magician's assistant? I most certainly was, Henri. This is me when I was a little bunny. This is me when I was five. And this is me when I was seven years old. Why is there no picture here, Rabbit? I was saving that space for my big final performance, Henri, but unfortunately the show got cancelled. Why did it get cancelled, Rabbit? The magician accidentally made himself disappear. Oh, if only I knew another magician, I could perform in my final show and finish the album. 
That gives me a great idea, Rabbit. I could become a magician and we could perform your final show together. That's a great idea, Henri. For my first trick, I need a volunteer from the audience. <laughs> Pocus Pocus, Alakazam. <laughs> Here I am, Mummy. Is this your card? <laughs> That's amazing, Henry. One has been looking for him everywhere. Come on, you little joker. For my next trick, I require the help of my lovely assistant, Rabbit. Ready, Rabbit? Ready, Henri. Alakazam. <laughs> Hello, Hoop. Hello, Henry. Hello, flowers. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Hello, magic box. Hello, Henry. It's almost time for the final act. Bon chance. Good luck. Thanks, Rabbit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for my final trick, I will use all my magical powers to make my lovely assistant disappear before your very eyes. Rabbit, if you will. Hocus Pocus, Alakazam! Make Rabbit disappear as fast as you can. And now, I'll make Rabbit magically reappear. Alakazam! Hello, Henry. Rabbit. Oh, hello, Frog. Hmm, that wasn't quite right. Let me see. How about this? Shazam! Hello, Henry. Oh, Hello. dear. What about this? Hello. Or this? Hello. Or this? Or this? Or this? Hello. Oh, oh, no. This is a disaster. I need to finish the show. But now the stage is packed with animals and I can't find Rabbit anywhere. Hello. Wait a minute. What's that? Hello. Oh. I wonder who could be hiding under my hat. Drum roll, please. Boys and girls, would you please give a huge round of applause for my wonderful carrot-loving assistant, Rabbit! Ta-da! Well done, Henri. The magic show is a success. You're a fantastic magician. Thanks, Rabbit. And it looks like you'll have the perfect photo for your album. Say carrots. I mean cheese. Cheese. The day Henry met a rabbit, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a rabbit, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry. That's my mum calling me rabbit. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henri. And thanks for helping me finish my photo album. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Au revoir, Henri. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A cow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, cow. Howdy, Henry. How are you today, cow? Oh, I'm just fine and dandy. Thank you, Henry. I was just preparing a lovely fluffy milkshake. Would you like some? The milk is very fresh. Mmm, it's delicious. Is it really true that milk comes from cows? It is, Henry. We cows eat lots and lots of grass. That goes through our four stomachs and helps us make lots of yummy milk. Wow, that's amazing. You must Always be hungry. You betcha, Henry. It's hard work, but the rest of the herd and I always make time to unwind. In fact, that reminds me. Tonight is the big barn dance. Yee-haw! I love dancing, Cow. Maybe you and your friends could show me some of your dance moves. That's a wonderful idea. I can't wait for you to meet the herd, Henry. They're a pretty wild bunch. Oh, um, where are they, Cow? Oh, gee whiz, Henry. Someone must have left the gate open last night. And it looks like all my friends have wandered off. Oh, no, Cow. They might have gotten lost during the night. What shall we do? I just don't know, Henry. I certainly can't dance all on my lonesome, that's for sure. 
We need a cowboy to go round them up. That gives me a great idea, cow. I could become a cowboy and I could help round up all the lost cows. Yee-haw! Well, tickle my hind legs, Henry. That's a great idea. What's that under your hat? That's my riding helmet, cow. Even cowboys need to remember, safety first. Now, where should we start looking? Hmm. If I was to go wandering off, where would I be? Excuse me? Y'all looking for some missing cows? Oh, hello, Scarecrow. Yes, we are. I don't suppose you have seen them. Yep, I saw them last night with my own two eyes. Where did they go, Scarecrow? Who? they went and dancing through this cabbage patch into them fields over there. Thank you kindly, Scarecrow. Let's go! We've got cows to find. Giddy up, horsey! Yeehaw! Oh, good luck, y'all! <laughs> Thanks, Henry! <laughs> Thanks, Henry! <laughs> Thanks, Henry! Phew! We did it, cow. We found the lost herd. Wait a moment. What is a cow? One of the cows is still missing. But where could they be? We've looked everywhere. Ooh. Huh? What was that cow? It sounded like a cow, Henry. But where is it coming from? Ooh. Someone help me, quick. What are you doing all the way up there? I was putting up decorations for the big barn dance and I got stuck. Oh, please, oh, please, can't someone help? Oh, no, this is terrible, Henry. Don't worry, everyone, I think I have an idea. Right, everyone ready? Steady now. Oh, please hurry, Henry. Everyone knows cows are afraid of heights. Don't worry, we're almost in position. Left a bit, left a bit. Steady now, there. Ready, everyone? Ready, Henry! Jump! Yay! You did it, Henry. You saved all the cows. Yee-haw! Thanks, cow, but I couldn't have done it without all of your help. In fact, I think it's about time we got this barn dance started. What do you all say? Yee-haw! The day Henry met a cow, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a cow, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, cow. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, cowboy. Thanks for helping me find my friends and saving the dance. You're welcome, cow. Have a nice day. You take care now, Henry, you hear? Bye-bye, cow. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A car! <laughs> Hello, car. Hello, Henry, my boy. How are you today, Carr? I feel fantastic, Henry. Never better. I'm raring to go. <laughs> um, are you meant to sound like that, Carr? <coughs> Not exactly, Henry. Sounds like my engine could do with a drop of oil. Did I hear one of you boys say a drop of oil? You most certainly did. But, um, what is it you do exactly? Well, Henry, oil helps the engine run nice and smoothly. It stops all the different engine parts from rubbing together and wearing out. So the gears can move and the pistons can pump. And then the wheels can turn and the car can go. Exactly, Henry. Oh, I feel so much better now. If only there was a big race happening today down at the racetrack. Extra, extra, calling all cars. Big race happening today down at the racetrack. Did you hear that, Car? This is your chance. You could enter the big race. Well, that would be wonderful, Henry, but, well, you see, I've never actually finished a race before. I always break down just before the finish line. Oh, but, Car, it's not all about winning, and it's never too late to give it another shot. You're absolutely right, Henry. I should enter. <sighs> but I can't enter without a driver. 
That gives me a great idea, Car. I could become a race car driver, and we can enter the big race together. Well, bless my bumpers. That's a great idea, Henry. Look, the lights are about to change. It's almost time to race. Drivers, start your engines. Ready, steady, go, go, go! Uh, what's the matter, Car? Aren't you forgetting something, Henry? Oh, my seatbelt, of course. Whee! Um. Sorry, Car. Now grab hold of the steering wheel and I'll take it from here. Hold on tight, Henry! Hello, blue car. Hello, green car. Hello, Henry! Hello, tow truck. Hello, Henry! Hello, pit stop. Time for a new set of wheels. And a quick fuel top up. Go, go, go! We've made it, Henry. We're in first place. And look, the finish line is just ahead. Just hold it steady, Car. We're almost there. We're going to win the race. Absolutely nothing can stop us now. Uh-oh. Oh, pickle my pistons. I'm so sorry, Henry. I've broken down again. Don't worry, Car. We didn't win, but we had lots of fun. I know, Henry, but I've still never finished a race. I guess I'm just not cut out for the racing life. Hold on, Car. I have an idea. Huh? What? What's happening? You're finishing the race. That's what's happening. Come on, tow truck. Let's go. the race. Oh, thank you, tow truck, and thank you, Henry. I can't believe it. You've made an old car very, very happy. My pleasure, car. But always remember, it's not about winning. It's about taking, taking part. part. <laughs> the day my mum calling me, Car. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me finish your race at last. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. <laughs> <laughs>